people, you know, wonder why is music publishing so important, okay? Um, it's not the most exciting thing to talk about, but it's one of the most important things around, and I'll tell you why. Unlike a record deal, okay, the money you make in royalties from publishing is what I call unencumbered. There is no mortgage on your house like there is in a record deal. If a record label you know, advances you money to make the record, to market your record, to put you out on tour and all of that stuff, if you're lucky enough to earn royalties, they deduct all that stuff so that you could sell a million records and not make any record royalties, which is why lots of bands wind up hating record labels. Not true in the publishing business. If you get an advance on a publishing deal or you make your publishing income, and we'll talk about how you generate that a little bit later, that money goes all the way to your pocket with no deductions. There's no cost of marketing and so forth and so on. So it's really important because it's paid from dollar one. So you sell a million records and you're getting roughly 10 cents you know, or a buck a record in publishing income, that million records with all the recoupment might not have earned you a dime of royalties. <clears throat> that same million records sold that gets you a dollar of publishing goes into your pocket a million bucks. Does that make sense so far? Okay, everybody's nodding their head. Mm -hmm. That pay from dollar one is a key concept here. Um, the other thing that's important to note about, you know, uh, about songs, that great songs can last a lifetime. They can provide you income for a lifetime. There are songs that were written in the 30s and 40s and 50s that are still generating income for people that might have already been dead and buried. I think the, the, the limit is 99 years or something. So, but basically it would cover your lifetime and the lifetime of some of your friends. Uh, I'm fortunate to, to play golf with a great songwriter, a guy by the name of Mac Davis, who's in his 70s now. He's written some huge hits, you know, In the Ghetto for uh, Elvis Presley, a bunch of huge songs. And he kids that he's in the business of going to his post office box, okay? And it's been a long time since he had a hit or those songs have been played, but they still get played on the radio. They still wind up in movies, and he's still going to that post office. And on the back of his car, his very fine car, his license plate says TH. Checks E L V S. Thanks, Elvis. Okay. <clears throat> um. We had a friend on our show here, a guy by the name of Mario Gonzalez, who's a music attorney, right? Who, who basically captured the importance of songwriting in a simple little quote. Code, you have it up there? Here's what he had to say The people that write the songs live in huge houses, and the people that don't write the songs, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Uh, that kind of puts it right where it's at. Okay. Yeah.